All right, guys. That's the moment I guess you all have been waiting for, right? Because all along, every exposure of the X70 has been a scoop, has been one where maybe it's not authorized or it's just stolen footage and all that. Now this round, we have a good look of the X70. Let's turn you guys around. There you have it. That, these are the X70s. I do not know the specs yet, but I would presume those on the stage would be the full spec variants. Now we've seen the brown color one, we've seen the silver ones, the gray ones, and then there's the red ones, and um, the white ones. Let's go have a look at how this car looks now. Now, of course, we're in a motor show, and there are new stuff that other car makers bring in, and this, we've seen this, for almost a year now that's why you know everybody is like mm, yeah we've seen that you know hence it isn't generating a lot of attention yet okay but I'm sure when tomorrow when all the public comes in this booth will be the one that gets crowded the most and it's good that Proton prepared one two three four five for all of you guys to have a look at all right I'll not sure if they have unveiled anything yet in terms of pricing but let's have a look at the car now now you guys have been lambasting me and saying that oh all talk no show you know let's have a look inside here maybe i should go through the exterior first all right in terms of size this is very close to the cx5 or actually it's the same size as the cx5 all right now look at the design I think it has the same approach as the Tiguan where it uses the very straight cut design for, for, for the X70 and of course it is a nip and tuck here and there uh, with the Gili Boyue, alright? So these are unique to Proton and then uh, we've talked about this, the uh, Malay traditional carvings, okay? The 360 camera is here and uh, I like this approach. This uh, mixture of different materials approach the fog lamp over here uh, does this even light up i'm not sure i've never seen this car at night okay then you have the uh, sensor stuffs over there the car looks handsome straightforward clean it's not the beautiful 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 type of design like the cx5 but it is nevertheless very clean cut okay now opening the doors and closing them it feels really good feels like a proper premium car this all right and uh, look at the materials all right so we've said this a few times this is soft touch plastic okay look at my finger look at that it is soft touch this is metal or it feels like metal because it's cold to the touch and this handle is sturdy and then the uh, door handle is designed inside look at that very neat design very clean and this is the tweeter again it mimics the uh, the uh, design of the front grills having that traditional Malay carving sort of design over there and this is the one with the Napa leather and it's so soft to the touch it's fantastic the switch gears as well they feel great they feel tactile no, they feel nice, the switch gears, okay? They feel better than the switch gears in Hyundai's, okay? And the door panels, now, speaker is over here, hence, you can't put a big bottle over here, all right? So, this part, I mean, I would have thought the speaker could come here or something like that, but it's Kenwood, it's branded speaker, all right? Let's have a look inside here. And those traditional patterns are repeated over here as well. Look at the seat, okay? The, these, are, these look comfortable. And uh, let's go inside. Okay. Ah, oops. I have to adjust the seats first. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let's come inside here. That's the dashboard, okay? You have some... Oh, this is a piece of soft touch material over here on top of the uh, plastics down here. All these plastics are soft touch and they mold it to have a uh, stitching line running across 
Actually, I don't think they need this stitching line anyhow because you have this line over here, you have this line over here. It already gives a nice design to the car. So this is not needed, but nevertheless, they do it anyway to give it some uh, design depth. Now, this part is interesting. This part is some type of laminated material that feels exactly like brush aluminium. So when your aircon is blasting, you feel that it's rather cold to the touch, which is all right. And the same material has been applied here as well. And I think this looks better than those, uh, you know, wood look-alike that they use in uh, Honda Accords and things like that. And these two bars, these feel great because they are anodized metal. Uh, they feel exactly like metal and, and they feel good. So as an SUV, you know, you're holding it, it's nice, all right? Um, the shifters, the gear shifters, the buttons, they all feel alright. They are all rather high quality. This is somewhat similar to those that you find in Hyundai's. Okay? So, uh, let me try and switch this off. How do I switch the lights off? Okay, got it. So, it's not making sound anymore. Uh, oh, I'm able to turn this on. I wonder if I can speak to it. Hi, Proton. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, it's my stupid phone making a phone call. Why is that? Okay, anyway. Can I switch it on? Oh, oh my god. Why is the keys in the car? Shit, I shouldn't be switching it on, but it's on. <laughs> Why is it on? Anyway, uh, I'm not going to press on the... Uh... <laughs> okay, it's not the right thing to do because the key is in the car. And I accidentally switched it on just now. So this is how the key looks like. And uh, I mean, I have to be courteous, right? As a Malaysian, we are very courteous. And so I wouldn't want to... <laughs> anyway, let me turn on the ignition and try and say something. Hi, Proton. What's up? Can you open the windows? Please start the engine and then try again. Okay, it needs me to start the engine. All right. But we've seen the demo is pretty responsive. All right. Um, let me just try to hack again. Okay. Hi, Proton. Here I am. Can you open the sunroof? Please start the engine and then try again. All right. Um, can I start the engine? I, I feel like I want to start the engine. Anyhow, uh, let's explore other things first. I'll do that last before I get chased off the stage, okay? Uh, there's some buttons over here. Hey, this is nice. I mean, come on, man. Don't forget this. All this that you're looking at here, you are in a Proton, okay? Not a Toyota, not a Honda, but a Proton. But look at it. Look at... Oh, my God. It looks good, huh? Okay, you'd be wondering, what is this, right? There's an ionizer inside here. Yes, this lid has an ionizer that cleans up the air in your car. And then you have the USB ports, the 12 volt outlets are there. And then uh, you have that. Okay, let's push start. Uh, <laughs> how I wish I can. <laughs> I actually really wanted to try and switch on the turn up, just start the car and then open the uh, sunroof I mean I mean they are the ones who leave the keys inside here right <laughs> I'll do that later okay right before I get chased off the stage and someone will come here and tell me oh you cannot do that you cannot do that you know someone will tell me that okay let's switch it off okay because it's rather noisy here so people might not hear that I actually switch on the car okay now look at how spacious it is behind here underneath I have a lot of knee room. I have a lot of headroom, plenty of headroom. And uh, let's open the uh, sunroof cover. Uh, oh, it's not. Let me switch it on first. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I need to turn on the ignition. Okay. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Can I go further? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love cars with uh, moonroof. Anyway, switch it off back. 
I'm a very good media. I don't. <laughs> I'm a very nice guy. All right, the sitting position of the car is very comfortable. Okay, you sit in a slanted angle. Uh, not as crazy as the one in the Harrier, but it is it's very obvious that it is slanted. All right, and then I get a palm of headroom. And this thing is not in my way when I get in and out of the car. And uh, this door handle, I've said this many times, every car needs this handle because it's extremely comfortable. Slot your palms in here, long distance drive, you're very, very comfortable in it. All right, and then let's have a look at the uh, armrest here. Look at that, look at that, okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's rather uh, dramatic for just two cup holders because when it comes down you're like oh 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 what's that what's that you know but it's nice in terms of design you know you get a mixture of materials and it's good so this is how you sit in a proton x70 okay in terms of the uh the depth of the seat look at that i get about one finger it's one finger Remember that day I demoed with the uh, BMW X3? <laughs> I get to put four fingers behind my knees and then in the XT60 I couldn't. So this one I get, okay, not one, two fingers I would say. All right, two fingers. Now, let me show you another thing. So these are the controls. When you're sitting at the back, you can push the seat up front so that you can feel like a boss. Hello, I'm at Proton, Proton doing video. Ah, uh, okay, bye bye, I'm doing video. Bye bye. Okay, so you have rear aircon vents here, you get to control the uh, volume of air, you get an air cleaner, an air ionizer, and then you get two USB ports down here. This is the first time all of us get to show uh, how the X70 looks like inside and out. Uh, and I'm glad I can show you guys all this. All right, so this is the rear passenger compartment of the X70. It doesn't feel like a low rent car, does it? It feels like a European premium car, does it? All right, you look at this sort of interior and then you go inside a Ford Focus, all right? This is really one level up, okay? I like the interior build. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I've talked about it. Look at that. There's a USB port here for your phone so you can charge. There is a uh, USB port behind. Ah, uh, where is it? Where has it gone to? Oh, it's over here. Can you see that? There's a USB port over there. So that's for your dash cam. And then there's another USB port on the passenger side. So you get six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six USB ports. Okay. Okay, let's open the boot. Okay, there's no power boot here. And then you look at the boot. It's not super deep. Okay, it's big enough, but it's not super duper deep. And then you get a spare wheel over here. And then look at that, this one. Look at this. And then you look at this because that's how you can take out this and fit it over here when you have a lot of luggage. Uh, One-handed operation is not easy, huh? Okay, got it. Then you can pull it up like that. I remember, okay, I'm using one hand, so that's not the easiest way. Look at that. So if you don't want your stuff to move around, you can actually put your tonneau cover like that. Okay, it was designed to do this. Or you can just rest it over here. Okay, put your luggage. And then you can drop the seats. Okay. It's not a super huge, crazy big SUV. All right. Uh, the thing is pulling there. But basically, yeah. Uh, sorry, very tiring. Been running around. That's the Proton X70 SUV, all right? So yeah, that's the new Proton X70. And uh, I think this is a very compelling product. Now it's just the pricing. 
if they get the pricing right, then they're up to something, right? Keyless entry, uh, lane departure, blind spot warning, 360 cameras, all these things are in. And uh, that's Adrian from Autobus. And then you get ultra contact UC6 tires. Not bad, not bad. So we can't wait to drive this. Me and Con, our biggest question is whether this car, this car's handling has been tuned by Proton. As we know, Proton makes great handling cars and that is very important for us to know. All right, let's do this last thing. I'm gonna shock him. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> okay, uh, so I started the car and uh, let's do this now. Hi, Proton. Coming. Can you open the sunroof? Okay, opening sunroof. Hi, Proton. Coming. Close the sunroof. Okay, closing sunroof. Hi, Proton. Can you open all the windows? Holy moly! Hi Proton! Close all windows! Close all windows! Okay, closing all the windows. <laughs> okay, I love that. Okay. Yep. Uh, I don't know what else to do, but uh, it works and is rather responsive. Hi Proton! What's up? Open all the windows. Open the sun, open the sunroof as well. Okay, open the sunroof. Now, do you notice that while the car is opening the windows, I can interrupt the car and ask it to open the sunroof? That is crazy. Hi, Proton. Close the sunroof. I do not follow you. Please say it again. Please close the sunroof. Okay, closing sunroof. Close the window as well. Okay. Closing all the windows. Do you just see that while executing this and it hasn't finished, I can say another command and it does it. That is amazing. Yep. Let's take a look at the engine. So I I'm sorry, he's doing his video, but I told you guys, right? I told you guys about the engine cover and the engine bay. Look at it. That is amazing. So I'm not, I'm not lying when I tell you that the entire engine cover, is, engine bay is covered like a Lexus. Look at that. How many cars in its segment, in its price points, actually does something like that, right? It's clean, covered, nicely covered. Oh, and, and the engine is started, huh? Mind you, the engine is started actually. Look at that. Look at that. So that's why I really, I mean, it's, it's, for me to say that it's near premium is a big bet, but I'm not joking here. I'm not lying here, right? This car is really like that, all right? Let's turn on the lights so that we can have a look at how it looks like when the lights are on, all right? So now we turn on the lights. Look at the rear, this motif of the lights. Look at that. Nice, right? And check out the front headlamps. Sorry, bro. Yep, that's how it looks like. Lovely. All right. So, yep, there we are. That's the Proton X70. And I like what I'm seeing here. Okay, cheers guys.